Finding the area of rectangles, triangles, and parallelograms. Area, first of all, is something that uh, tells us how much space something takes up. For example, if we looked at this rectangle here, and we talk about the, the area of this rectangle, really what we're talking about is how many little squares that would measure uh, one by one would it take to fill up that entire rectangle. That's really what the area is telling us. So in order to figure out the area of a rectangle, we have a formula, and that formula is A equals length times width. You could also use base times height, whatever um, works for you, but uh, length times width or base times height, same deal. So what we're going to go ahead and do, here's our length, 15 inches, and there's our width, 7. So we will put those into our formula. We get A equals 15 times 7, which gives us, let's grab our handy dandy calculator, 15 times 7 is 105. So we get 105. Now, when we label area, our units for area are square units. Because remember I mentioned this is 105 square units. We were trying to find how many small little squares would fit into this. Well, if I drew it out, if I drew out squares, and I made this into seven little squares one by one, Okay, it's not completely accurate, but you get the idea. There would be 105 of these little squares that would fill up this area of this rectangle. That's what area means. It's useful if you're uh, laying flooring or um, seating a lawn, all kinds of different things we use area for. So that's the area of the rectangle. Let's drop down here to the area of a parallelogram. It's very similar the formula to find the area of a parallelogram is A equals BH or base times height like I mentioned it's the same thing as as the rectangle really because a parallelogram is really just a rectangle that's been tilted now sometimes they'll try and throw you off by giving you an extra measurement or if you're working with this in real life you will wanna make sure that uh, you're getting the correct measurements so that you get the area of the the place that you're trying to to figure it out base times height now the base that's pretty straightforward that's right here that's 14 but the height is the height of this parallelogram 8.2 feet or is it 9.5 feet well the height is the perpendicular distance from the base up to the top of the figure so that's this is the 8.2 feet and if we think about it if we would take this and tilt it back over it would give us an 8.2 feet tall um, distance here into a rectangle and another way you could think of it is if we would draw a line here I'll just do that we'll draw a line right here Okay, we could cut off this triangle and drag it over here and then we would just have a rectangle so that's where we get uh, the formula for the parallelogram put those numbers in we have the area a equals the base which is 14 times the height which is 8.2 multiply those two grab our calculator we have 14 times 8.2 which gives us 114.8 now again we're dealing with area so this is saying there would be 114.8 little squares one foot by one foot that would fill this area so it's gonna be feet squared remember 
label on area is always square units. So that's the area of a parallelogram. Last, we've got the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle formula, again, is very similar to the other formulas that we've worked with, except for one thing. We have area equals one half base times height. Now, let's think of this. If we look back at our rectangle, a triangle is really half a rectangle. If we would split this right here, we would have two triangles. So a triangle is really half a rectangle. That's where the half comes from. And we could think of it as half of a parallelogram if we would split this here. So we go ahead and take our, our information and we put it into our formula. We have the area A equals 1 half. B, the base, is 24 centimeters. And then the height, is the height 17 or is it 14.5? Well again, remember I said the height is the perpendicular distance or the 90 degree angle here going straight up. So it would be 14.5 centimeters. So we have 14.5. We go ahead and multiply all that stuff. Remember 1 half is also known as 0.5. So we can put that into our calculator that way. So 0.5 times... 24 times 14.5 equals 174. So the area of this triangle is 174 centimeters squared because we're talking about again how many little squares one centimeter by one centimeter would it take to fill this whole area. So finding the area of rectangles, triangles, and parallelograms all very closely related Remember area we're looking for, how many little squares will it take to fill in the area. Basically we're going to multiply length times width for a rectangle, base times height for a parallelogram, and one half base times height for a triangle because a triangle is just half of a rectangle.